all right everyone welcome back to another video and in today's video i just wanted to make this quick video as a response to some viewers questions so recently in one of my latest cmf watch pro 2 videos i kept getting the question where a lot of viewers were having issues um, with their watch faces not syncing up in the app or not syncing up to the watch or in particular watch faces were disappearing from the app so they couldn't load them onto the watch. I think particularly the one watch face that everyone was having issues with was the digits time watch face. Now I commented in that video and let me show y'all okay i commented in that video that because everyone was having so much of the same issue that i would reach out to cmf directly and see if they can provide me a direct fix because i went through the initial troubleshooting steps and I posted those to answer the question and it doesn't seem like that fixed works, that fix worked for them. So I did tell them I would reach out to CMF directly and let you guys and gals know via the comments if they responded and what fix they have. Well, guys and gals, that was, uh, that was the tenth, right? So I reached out to them on the 10th, okay? And I posted that um, question to them and it took them a day to respond. So you can see as of the recording of this video, it is September 12th. And I did reach out to them on Twitter. I'm not gonna call it X. Calling it X just sounds wrong. So I reached out to them on Twitter. It will forever be known as Twitter to me. And they did give me a response. So let me show you guys here. So this is the response that they gave me. I'm gonna leave it up on the screen so you guys and gals can read the question and read their response for yourself. But I am just going to summarize. So basically, I took the question that everyone was having and I pretty much posted it verbatim, right? And then I provided them a link to the video. So if they wanted to have a representative from CMF, click on the video, jump into the to the comments and directly answer the question, they could have done that, right? Also, I wanted to make sure that they watched the video so they know what improvements they need to make, right? Because it's all about making improvements so we get the best overall products. But with that being said, okay, here is the response that I got from them. Now, I read the response and I'm thinking initially they didn't answer the question directly because the way they answered the question, it was kind of confusing. But uh, upon further readings, I get the general sense that uh, this is a common issue and basically they'll try and fix it when they roll out the next software update for the watch and the application, okay? So basically that's, that's what I'm getting here. So, and I think I alluded to that earlier. Like I thought this was a server side issue on their part. And this does seem to be confirmation. So, um, I do apologize to you guys and gals that are still having this issue. And I'm sorry that I couldn't get a direct fix for you guys and gals, but at least now we know that they are going to be trying to fix it and hopefully they will have it fixed with the next server update that they push and the next watch 
in application update that they push all right but that guys and gals does it for this real quick video here um i just thought that this really uh justified making a video as opposed to me trying to copy and paste their response um i figured i'd just make a quick video for everyone so i hope everyone finds this video helpful and i hope everyone enjoys this video if you guys and gals do Y'all know what to do. Please help your boy out by giving the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. And that actually pushes my content um, up the ladder in YouTube, right? So that's why I always tell you guys and gals to do that. If you enjoy the videos and or you find them helpful, please give those videos a thumbs up because it pushes us out further in the algorithm and it gets the videos in front of more eyes, all right? But with that being said, if you guys and gals have any more issues related to the CMF products, please leave those questions down below in the comments of those videos. I do try to answer all questions in a timely fashion, and I try to assist you guys and gals to the best of my ability, and I have no problem reaching out to companies or manufacturers directly, as I've done here, to get direct responses and hopefully direct fixes to your guys and gals questions. So please, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments of the videos that you have questions on the products about, and I will try to get back to them in a timely fashion, or I'm sure someone in our community that has the answer to the question will comment in the video, or I'll reach out to the company directly and see if I can get them to give me a direct fix. You know, we're all a community here. We should all help each other and be respectful in a respectful fashion. This way we get the best overall products that we spend our hard earned money on, all right? So anyways, I'm making this video way too long. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed the video. I hope you guys and gals found it helpful. I hope everyone is staying safe out there and having a good one. And I'll catch you guys and gals in the next one. We are out of here. Peace. Oh, wow. I don't know why I'm throwing up the peace sign like I could see my uh, my face or my fingers, but I guess it's just a force of habit. Have a good one, everyone. I'll catch you guys and gals on the next one. Peace.